Hi, this is Trey Passer. Um, um, I saw uh, Ali Walker, great fellow YouTuber, uh, who did her top five. I, don't, I think they, every week she does a top five favorites on Fridays, but she does it on Wednesday and, and releases it. You know, top five was, you know, I think originally that DVD collector, uh, 1974 James, originally started that, but a lot of people do it and, and talk about uh, does it up as well. But I wanted to do my top five favorite TV characters of all time, and that's a hard thing to do as much TV as I've seen, I guess, over the years, to pick five characters, but I'm going to attempt it, and I'm going to try to make this video quick so it doesn't last forever. Okay. Not in no particular order. Uh, uh, this character in the show Fringe is not Peter Bishop, played by, uh, what's his name, Joshua Jackson, but Walter Bishop, uh, played by, uh, I geez, the actor's name, uh, but Walter Bishop, to me, is one of my absolute favorite TV characters of all time. When the show was on, it was on, I think it lasted like five seasons. They kind of, you know, should be on right now, to be honest. But um, Walter Bishop, to, to kind of explain the show away, uh, this is kind of a cross between X-Files and, I guess, science. X-Files, think of X-Files with, with science only, instead of aliens. And uh, Walter Bishop was a scientist who was a brilliant scientist who worked out of Harvard. And he, um, would, along with his partner, he basically experimented on fringe science and had all these experiments, weird experiments they acted on. And it got to the point where Walter Bishop had his part of his brain removed. Okay, it's a long explanation about that. But he was institutionalized. He institutionalized himself, basically. And, and the pilot begins with him being let out because Olivia Dunham, played by her right here, she has to get him out to solve a case, a friend's case that happened. Okay, and she needs, you know, the son Peter to get him out. And and then you find the whole backstory about Walter Bishop, how he had a son named Peter, who who basically died, you know, she had a rare disease and he died, and it leads to a whole complication. But the thing I love about Walter Bishop, the character, was his love for his son. And if people who've seen the show know that's kind of a complicated situation. But that's what made me love his character. He's a brilliant guy, but since he had part of his brain removed, he's he's a little he's still smart, but he, he acts a little slow. But he's an absolutely compassionate uh, character who I absolutely love because of his portrayal. I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm blanking on the actor's name. I'm sorry. Uh, John Noble. I'm sorry. There is John Noble. And I think he, I don't, I'm not sure about it, but he should have won a, a bunch of Emmys. I think he did, but he should have won Emmys for this show because his portrayal of Walter Bishop would just break your heart, okay? And he just, uh, he's the heart of this show. And that's why he's one of my favorite, all-time favorite characters. And I, I rambled on way too much about that, but, <laughs> I, you know, I love this character that much. Anyway, the next character to me is the Six Million Dollar Man, uh, Lee Majors, uh, Six Million Steve Austin, played by Lee Majors. Uh, this is a guy, he was an, he was an astronaut. You know, he had the accident. He had one of the greatest openings on, of a TV show ever in history. Anyway, Steve Austin is by, he's a $6 million man who basically, you know, he, had a, he was an astronaut, had a horrific accident, and he got a bionic eye, 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 arm, and two bionic legs. And he basically goes on these covert missions for the government using his, using his bionics. And I love about Steve is Steve was, was cool and efficient, and, and he, he was just a cool dude. I mean, this is just a guy that you could hang out with. And that's why I love Lee Rage's portrayal of him. And plus, he had the great love of Jamie Summers in this movie, which I absolutely loved her in that. But Steve Austin, himself, the character himself, was so cool. And who didn't, who watched the show growing up, didn't play, do the slow motion run and, and stuff and the leap, leaping. And I I love the show and I love the character of Steve Austin. Okay. So that's uh, the second one. Now, the third one character in my pick is. Uh, James T. Kirk, which is played by William Shatner right there in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Uh, but William Shatner as uh, James T. Kirk, James Terribus, Terribus, Terribus <laughs> right? Kirk uh, was, was the, one of the coolest cat on one of the greatest shows ever created. Uh, he was just a great character. Uh, Kirk, you know, he was smart, handsome, and, you know, he got all the ladies, and plus he, he, you know, he ran his ship like a boss. Okay, and he had his, you know, his little, you know, he had Doc McCoy there and uh, Spock there, but he was the ultimate cool. Kirk, no matter what would happen, Kirk would maintain his cool. And I love when he went, 
he you know, Kirk would, Kirk is a captain, so he's not supposed to be going on these missions, but he'd go on these missions and he'd be fighting aliens and loving women and this Kirk is just a cool, cool character. I mean, there's no other way you're at. He's, he's a cool character. I, I can't say any more about that. But So that's why he, I love James C. Kirk. He's just, <laughs> he's, he's totally awesome. Okay, now, the fourth character in my list uh, would be Xena, or Warrior Princess, or played by Lucy Lawless. I love that show. When it was on, it used to be on Channel 11, PIX in New York here. You know, it was in syndication, but I love what I loved about the show. Zena, the character, was like a former bad girl who turned good, and with the help of Gabrielle, her little sidekick, she went about you know basically going around writing wrongs and fighting bad guys and helping the help of the innocent. And, and she was a reformed bad. And what I loved that yell she had, I can't imitate that yell. And she had a little, I forgot what they call the circle thing that she's had on a belt, and she had the sword in the back. And Lucy Lawless was just so kick ass and so. Absolutely gorgeous, and just and kick total ass. I, I that's why I just absolutely love uh, Lucy Zena. I used to watch that show every. I think it's come on Saturdays. So it's come on every Saturday, and I used to without fail watch it when it was on. I think it was on for five or six seasons. I'm not sure about that, but and I really need to get the box set of Zena because I, I absolutely love that show. Okay, it was just a total kick ass show. And my number five favorite character. Hold on for a minute. Would be Buffy Summers. Uh, I love play, play by Sarah Michelle Geller. You know, this is the TV show based on the movie, Josh Whedon. Uh, first of all, I love Buffy. Buffy was such a cool character who first was like a flighty teenager who didn't know she had this calling to be, you know, a slayer, and of course she had her, her, her um, mentor Giles, who, who taught her how to be, but you know, a slayer, vampire slayer. But I loved, I loved the show, but I loved Buffy the character because she was such, you know, she was trying to be a normal teenager and stuff, and of course at the same time she had to fight these, you know, fight vampires and every other supernatural creature on the show, and it was just a such a great show, and her character was so, so good. You know, they even kind of changed the show up a bit. They even. Like I said, this is a spoiler. It's okay, a spoiler on this. They had the character die, come back to life. <laughs> um, they even gave her a sister. She had to battle all these. Every season, she used to have to fight a big bad on her show, and she would, you know, she she was vulnerable, and but yes, she was so tough and kick ass at the same time. And I love Sarah Michelle Gellar's portrayal of Buffy, and just a great show created by Josh Wheaton and everybody. And and just but Buffy, the character was such a great. Absolutely great uh, TV character. One of the all time, I think, got to be in the top 20 of TV characters of all time. She's just that good, Buffy. And I love this show. Okay. And I was sad when it went off, but I absolutely loved it. Okay. So Buffy would be my number five. So that's my five. And I went on a little bit too long. That's eight minutes, but what are you going to do? Yeah. So that's uh, my top five uh, favorite TV characters. Okay, uh, let me know what you think of them. Feel free to leave comments down below. And again, thank you, Ali Walker, for um, you know inspiring me to make this video. I like making more. I want to make more videos and stuff, and check out more people's videos and stuff. I've really been kind of slacking on that. And I apologize for that in advance. And I want to get back into you know looking at more people's videos and stuff. Okay, so anyway, this is uh, it's Wednesday right now. I think I'll, it's it's almost about time for me to go to bed. What I want to do is uh, when I come home, I'll upload this video so it'll be on YouTube hopefully tomorrow, Thursday, and put this up there. And again, thank you, Allie, for inspiring me to make this video. Okay? And this is Trey Pastor again saying so long and take care.